What's up, guys? Hope you guys are doing well. They were actually going to be pulling a bit of a prank on Flakes, actually, which is, uh, he's one of the pro players from Europe. He's actually streaming right now as I'm recording this. I thought it'd be funny if I made him analyze his own gameplay without him knowing. Now, I'm already getting pretty excited about this because I think it could be pretty hilarious. If you guys don't know Flakes, he's very big on roasting every single person he analyzes. Get demoted. He turned! What the fuck? So it'll be hilarious to see him shit talk himself, basically. So in order for me to do this, I gotta do a few things. I gotta sign up with a new account. So I made a new account called Shadowmonger23. Once I made the account and verified everything, then it was a matter of getting a tier 3 sub, which is what he does for uh, analysis. If you need to pay $25 US to get an analysis from him, what people usually do is they give him a replay. But here, you, as you can see, I went through, uh, I just searched on ballchasing.com flakes and made sure it was on limited pro players. So right here, I went to... Uh, to flakes once you click on them and you can look at all of the replays that he appears in but yeah as you can see these are all actually filtered through with uh where flakes is involved smurf and turf <laughs> no idea what was going on um so i found this one i was like okay well yeah i loaded in the game and i realized that he has complexity decals and and all the wheels and stuff and i was like well this is too obvious man he's gonna know it's him so what i ended up doing was i went into uh Baki's mod and use the anonymity feature, which you can anonymously make everyone's car look like a bot, and then you can name everyone's names like bots. So I changed it all to bots, which uh, you'll see what happens in the video, but it's pretty funny. I was reacting myself to his reactions throughout the whole thing, but I didn't record it because I wanted to make sure I had all the raw, the raw footage, but honestly, I think I'm just gonna leave it up to you guys to react to how he, how he trash talks himself for an entire like 15 minutes. I'll be cutting through to all the funny parts. There are some pretty stupid moments. You have to know where... What was this? Military bean? But yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Let's get right into it. Hey, Shadowmonger. Thank you for the follow and the sub, homie. Appreciate it. One here as well. I could have brought this into my corner boost. I was probably scared of Lena's jumping for this ball and his shooting it. That's why I go back. At least I don't remember. I might have. This, this replay was long. Says I'm hungry. Right, this is fast, so it doesn't really matter. We got another replay. Hell no, I ain't doing three, dude. Get the fuck out, dude. I, I really didn't want to do my replay because it's useless. I could do. I could analyze my replay. But I, I, I would know what I do wrong mid-game, you know, and if I replay analyze someone's replay, at least I make him happy and I have done his replay, whereas otherwise he's gonna come cry the next day, right? Not around for a long time, just came to follow and get a quick analysis. Yo, I appreciate you, Shadow. Wait, oh, you're talking about you wanted a replay now? I'll, I I just don't want to do one now because I'm, I'm about to end stream as well, you know. I, I will give you... I will tell you you can come in anytime, even if it's in nine months, and I will still do it for you, okay? I'll remember your name, dude. So I waited like an hour for him to go through his own replay. He actually was just analyzing his own replay as well because people were asking for it. Um, and I was talking to Nacho, one of his uh, moderators, and uh, he was trying to like help convince Flakes to rec like to do one right after that. Um, ended up after he was finished recording or uh, analyzing himself, uh, he said he was done with it. And so it took some convincing. <laughs> as you can see, I donated a hundred dollars. To get him to uh to analyze it for today easily the best 125 dollars i've ever spent in rocket league by far don't tell me you did donated money so that i would do an analysis please don't tell me i appreciate the money but a uh, man you know i'm hungry i'm dying i don't have a lot of time i'm sick and tired i am sick and tired well, yeah, I guess I guess we'll do the replay analysis. It's on YouTube. <sighs> Shadowmonger, I fucking hate you, dude. So this means I have to no. This means I have to share my screen. I don't want to go. I don't. I don't. I, I refund the one hundred bucks, please. I don't want to go. Do you do you have the replay on PC? Poggies. No leaks. No nothing. We haven't leaked the hentai. Stop saying leaked in chat. You guys haven't seen shit. All right, done. All right, poggies. Pro streamer, let's get it. Oh, that's HD as fuck, homie. How do you upload this? That my stream isn't even that good. All right, it's good. This is not threatening, so you're gonna get a hit that's gonna go towards you. This is why I don't play threes. That's decent. The problem is your teammate hits it away, which is unfortunate. You can try and follow it up. You have to know. I mean, this might be a goal. To be fair, you have to know where. What was this? Military bean. We are gonna watch that. We are. I'm. I, let's just skip the replay. Let's just watch this shit. 
All right, so you just have to know if you hit this ball, yes, you might beat this buzz guy. You would hit it probably into this opponent or into their corner, into a, into a spot where you would not be able to follow it up, right? So what I would do is push up towards this play and then just turn away so that buzz would go. Buzz would hopefully hit this ball just like you are doing right now into your corner, which means your teammates would have a ball. You don't have to challenge this, right? Are these bots? I just realized. Buzz, Merlin, Jester, Wolfman, Phantom. We're gonna watch Mr. Bean. It's it's over. I, no, how do I go back? I actually clicked. We're back. We're back. What I would do here, instead of controlling this ball and uh, flick it over this guy, is get a hit directly behind this guy. So you would hit it into there. The first touch goes there. So you'd get a touch behind this guy. This guy's fucked up. He's too close. Yes, I know. Take your time when you have time is good. And yes, I know you get a pass one. But think about getting past people without outplaying yourself. Which means if you flick it past the guy, it means if there's a guy behind him, yes, you get... It's good. Don't get me wrong. It's good. 69 boost, by the way. Um, it's good. You get past the first guy, which means he's going to use boost. He's going to be out of position, this and that. You know, it's cool. Don't... What the fuck? Don't go for the boost if it's not there. I think you redirect attempt. You could have grabbed the boost, definitely. I have no clue why you would go from here to this boost and sit there, but you don't want to grab this boost. Like, this boost is way more likely to... Way better, way better. But this is better boost to grab than that one, because that one wasn't even there. And then let this ball bounce and then go for it. Then you hit it to the side, you land here, the ball would bounce side, and then it would go back to you. And then you've outplayed Jester without committing yourself. And then you could try to fuck up Wolfman. <clears throat> um, let's take a look here. I would just rotate from this position, like you don't have to do anything, just rotate away, go to your corner boost and have momentum towards your net, that's fine, Merlin, it's a, is this a bot? It's probably not because they're aerialing and shit, but like, this is such like a body, a B-O-T-T-Y, a body lobby, um, I don't fucking know, dude. Uh, this is a decent boost grab at least, but there is more stuff you can do, yes, good, boost grab, hey clap but uh, more value get as much value as you can cover all the situations cover the boost grab as well yes of course but you can also cover the hit don't go for this instantly well good job there because if he hits it he's gonna hit it you don't want to jump up before he gets a hit so here definitely grab the boost which you do which is amazing dodge a bump free goal here well played you're playing pretty smart to be fair from what i see you're doing you're doing a lot of things right i would say don't you dare go for that. You already push up too far here, it's the problem. If you have no interest in going for the ball, and you shouldn't have any interest, you should stop there already. You don't have to push up, you can wait here, because the, the further you push up, if you in the end you're gonna let the opponent hit, you're gonna make him think you're gonna go and he's gonna hit. If he's gonna hit, might as well be as far back so the hit has less chance of going over your head, right? Best play in my opinion would be come more from here so you threaten a hit up. What I would do is go like this, threaten a hit up, stop here. So that this guy would go for a really high block and then you would just never hit the fucking ball. So yes, cool hit. Really cool hit. Think about, can I follow this up? I, maybe if I get a perfect touch, I can follow this up. Can you can think about, what if I get the perfect touch, can I follow this up? What am I gonna do? What are you gonna do with this after this shit? You're gonna try and go for a fast hit anyway, it's gonna be give up possession anyway, so it's... Uh, it's not gonna do anything, you know. <clears throat> you can re be ready for a mid pass here. You 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 should have been ready for a mid pass here. You're you're still too far behind him. In threes, when there's a guy back, look at this Merlin pushing up here. You go like here. You be ready for a pass. Be there. This could have been a mid pass. This guy is back. In twos, I agree with your positioning. In threes, be ready for a pass. And the problem is pros play threes positioning in twos, and that's why they always hate me on stream. But in threes, you should be there. In twos, not really. This guy, if he jumps up instantly, he would probably have you beat here. I, I don't know about this. I mean, I, it's fine trying, I guess. If your teammate listens to what I say and he's in an independent position, always go for this. Because if you lose this, teammate's ball. Since he's not in an independent position, and I don't know if you're so looking. If you're so looking, you have to take care. Like, you have to think about your teammate's position as well. Look at how risky this is. Look at how fucking shit this pop is. Yes, you get a pop. Yes, you get it over this guy. But do you not realize how bad this... Like, if you want to get a good pass, flip it to him, or get touched like you do and hit it hard way to the right. So you really don't get a high pop. Merlin is pushed up towards the ball now. If this guy got a slight touch towards your net, look at where this guy is. He has momentum towards the ball, and this is a goal because he's the last man. And you've baited your last man in with a bad pass. Sick outplay. Now do something else because you've been playing fine the whole game. Now don't do this shit. Right? Time. Take your time. Do whatever you want to do except for hitting the ball into them. Mr. Fucking Bean. Do we gonna watch this shit? Military Bean. That shit is popping. You turn with the fuck. After the boost grab, you turn, you fake challenge. 
Don't give them all the free speed. Go play once. Hey, wait, are you? I actually want to know. Do you play once? Cause you you're pretty smart. But it could be smart from I don't know. You probably have played once. I don't I don't believe you can get this level of smart. Not saying you're insanely smart, but you're smarter than the average player. Decent touch again. Try to get touches where you don't need your fucking teammates, please. Uh, Cause it's good. Yes. But now you rely on Merlin to pass you, and yes, he does that. So everything goes according to plan, and it's your ball in the end. Good job. But uh, let's say Merlin doesn't. Let's say Merlin. Merlin's mom comes comes in his room. He's like, "Why are you watching hand tying it?" And like, Merlin disconnects. You know, everything can happen. Stay in control of your own game, right? Please. How do you do that? Well, you could get a hit. You know, getting it behind him is fine. You could also hit it there. Um, hitting it behind him is fine. You could also just hit it over him, jump to avoid the bump. You know, any of that shit. But wait. I might have figured out what this man is doing. Is this your replay? What this man might be doing is he might be sending in a replay from someone. That's why he's hiding their names. Is that what you're doing? Yo, what's up? Yo, what? Whoa, hello. Whoa. That, that was me. <laughs> I left the call. 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 <laughs> Yo, what's up, man? It was, it it was your gameplay. <laughs> That's it. Why did I go back to Mr. Bean? It was my? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I see you. Oh, That's kind of stupid. Hey, from wh <laughs> when? When? What? What? Where was that gameplay from? <laughs> from what was that? <laughs> Tell me, stop laughing. I mean, ending stream. <laughs> stop laughing. I'm gonna. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. Chat, don't laugh. <laughs> Chat, don't laugh. They left the mirror. Please. <laughs> I need an answer. From when was that replay? What was I playing? What was I doing? <laughs> like a couple weeks ago. But yeah, if you haven't already, make sure to check out Flakes. He streams pretty much every day on the weekdays. I'm, I'm pretty sure he streams on weekends as well um, for quite a few hours. Um, so definitely check him out. He's hilarious. He's a good time. Uh, really fun to watch. Uh, he's a really good player as well, so hope you guys follow and uh, check him out.